it is me. I have got a story to tell. This week was boot camp. We started this boot camp at a place called Solana Beach, and it's Debbie's little shop that she's had for years. It was awesome. In here running around. I'm the second one to get to pick a piece of furniture, and I go in, I look around, and I'm thinking, uh-uh. I am number two to pick a piece of furniture. Now look, this room is full of free, yes, you heard me right, free furniture. I'm like, oh my word, what am I gonna do? Then I spot the perfect piece. Colors, colors, colors. There's too many to pick. I'll just pick them all. That piece is perfect. I can do it, I got this. I only have four hours to finish this piece. So I grab my VIP brush by the turquoise iris. It will cover a ton of territory fast. I am thinking of having black velvet. Go digging through, there's no black velvet. What am I supposed to do? I thought, okay, wait, wait, wait. We can do this. A little bit of old school, little black dress. Mixed it together and we got black velvet. When blending these beautiful colors together, I use a sweeping motion side to side. I use a little bit of water from a Mr. Bottle, just enough to make that paint glide. And I make sure that it is seamless from one color to the next. I am just putting all of these beautiful colors on here and just, just blending those up. We're going with all of those beautiful, luscious, gorgeous, DIY, rich paints that are just amazing. I turn around and look at my piece. Oh my, you've got to be kidding. Here I am using Jamie Ray Vintage Stencil, the damask pattern. I lightly sand it back to make it look really worn and old. So I found this little cute piece and I think it is perfect. I chose a piece with no handles. What am I supposed to do? Help. So overcoming obstacles 101. Obviously that's what this is because at this point in time, I'm over here working on this piece and it hits me, duh, you don't have any handles. What you supposed to do? So you overcome and adapt. Or is it adapt and overcome? One of them things, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. And Debbie comes up with an idea. Yes! I feel like I won the lotto. I've never played the lotto, but it, if I would have, I would have won some brushes. Debbie comes up and just fans out these little beautiful, chippy, gorgeous, just brushes. Uh, uh, hello, the brushes. We need some handles. Then along came Grandpa. He saved the day. He turned the brushes into handles. Y'all, they are amazing. It's time for clear wax. We're gonna wax this baby. And waxing is my favorite thing. You slather that on there and when you get through, it's gonna look like rich butter. It's just wonderful. White wax is my favorite, favorite. It's kind of like eating a donut with all of that luscious frosting. So you put the white wax on, wipe it back. As soon as you do that, it just softens it. It just is luscious. It's wonderful. Now for the final touches. I take Golden Ticket, water it down, apply it with a foam brush. I use a Mr. Bottle and really let that Golden Ticket flow. I am going to take a rag and pat back all of the water so just the Golden Ticket shines through. Now for the fun part. Copper, pennies from heaven, copper patina, and Golden Ticket. I'm just using my finger. It takes just a little bit. It goes a long, long, long way. Look at these handles, they're gorgeous and the pennies from heaven and the golden ticket is just doing magic over this whole entire piece. I'm gonna accentuate all the corners. I absolutely am in love with this beautiful piece. I have learned some valuable lessons this week. Number one, I have found that 
you can adapt and overcome any situation. We had some situations going on this week, let me tell you. Gabby taught us so much stuff from videoing right on down to turning nothing into something. And it just really taught me a lesson this week. If you wanna do something bad enough, you can do it. I hope I have inspired you to grab that paint, slather that paint on a project and just go with it. You can do it. I know you can do it. Here she is, Solana Sunset. I just love her. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, you just go on over there and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that post notification button so you can be in the know for the next video that comes out. And as always, love y'all.